surprised you made it on time. <laughs> All right. I'll buy. Why wouldn't I be here? And I just figured your new PR guy, how you doing a couple radio shows and TV shows this afternoon, talking oh, yourself up. Oh, man. Look, we just rented a condo in your headspace. Hey, look, if you're not careful, I might just buy the whole building. <laughs> okay, so you got jokes, huh? You ever get tired of hearing your own hustle? There it is. My first down payment. So it's all you now, huh? Just you and baby Zuckerberg? Zach's on all of Mad Ants, all right? This exposure's good for all of us. We all win. Mad Ants aren't going anywhere. He needs to just focus on looks from the lead. Everything else is a waste of time. So what, you think that he's going to help you with the scouts, no. too? I know he's going to help you. You're in my way. Have you heard about Vlad? Nah, who's Vlad? The Romanian guy in the mess. I just brought him over. Vlad the Impaler? I didn't see a Vlad on the roster. They're center. Andre Haji? Right, yeah, but uh, they call him Vlad the Impaler. Hey, man, don't sweat it, Howie. Whoever he is, we got this. Man, you know something I don't? Yeah, yeah. I read up this morning on Wayne Hoops HQ. The blog called us out, saying that the key to this game is neutralizing Haji. And the only way to do that is to get everybody involved, so that's what I'm gonna do. Are you looking to get a triple-double? I'm looking to win, baby. Woo! Win. Star of the team, but the top to bottom, they have talent. Absolutely. They provide a tough matchup for teams because they can run so many sets from inside and out. Reminds me a little bit of how the Denver Nuggets are constructed. Yeah, great point, Brian. Six on the shot clock. He used the pick to Tatum outside to the middle. Pass to Young. Back to AI. From beyond the arc. Second chance shot, and the basket by Young. And this is a start for big man. You gotta like watching Haji do his thing down there. Trigger the screen. Here's AI, and it's blocked by Andre Haji. Every set this team has makes the best use of having an elite center in the middle. Haji is a great presence on the floor, and it's no surprise they built the offense around him. Drag a screen to the inside. Beautiful dish in the layup. One is Vlad the Impaler. He is a handful of a center. Does everything you want from the big man, including scoring, defense, and setting up others on the offensive end. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And Long Island is called for the foul. And with Haji, as you mentioned, it is the ability to create for others. Rock at six. Joseph up top. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And the head coach of the Mad Ants, Gordon Kelly. He's a back to the basics kind of coach. So one for two that time at the stripe. Side AI. That's it. Coming off an assist from Marcus Young. And coach, particularly at the offensive end, was amazing in the first half. He was really battling hard. And that allowed them to get two shots on the same possession multiple times. You know, his work on the offensive glass has been invaluable. That's for Randolph. Over Joseph. And again. It's Fort Wayne, and Haji is most comfortable operating close to the basket. Now here's Randolph. AI defended by Nelson. To the inside. And the this positioning to Haji, and you're going to regret it. Pass to Randolph. To the paint. Here's AI. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Timely passing leading to assist. That's been the recipe. Everybody's been in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. Now here's Odom. And here's Haji. Defended by Madison. Fade away. And it's Long Island with time another. Out, He's created some love for him so far. He hasn't really done much on the offensive end, but he has worked within the team to help them get the lead, and let's see if they can hold on to it. A nice shot by Trigg. Yeah. On defense, the Mad Ants. Hachi, Trigg defending. The shot by Andrews, no good. Here's Tatum, takes the three.
goes two for two at the line. And it's a three-point game. Timeout called the Nets. Guys, what do you think? Usually, you want to go for the two for one here. You know, an opportunity here, and they want to get a quality shot, most importantly. With the tip, great positioning on the putback. That's a death touch right there, guys. Yeah, he just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Yeah, really death. Yeah, that's right. No need to catch it when you've got the kind of soft hands. And there it is, the final whistle. What's your name? You're working hard, right? Fighting? Yeah, but I keep slamming into this wall. Why? I don't know. I, I'm doing everything right. I'm, I keep my head down. I grind. But you're still hitting that wall. So climb over it. Find your way around it. Dig a tunnel underneath it. Do not think about this wall as a barrier. Think about it as a question. What's the question? When I was a little kid, I wanted a big sounding job, right? Just like everybody else. I wanted to be a doctor, lawyer, president. Astronaut. I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> right, right. But then I got older and my heart told me something else. Words. I loved how they sounded when I gave them context, purpose. I knew I wanted to be great at it. And everyone <laughs> told me that it was impossible because of the barriers, right? I'm a female. Uh, the odds, the competition, I'd never be able to make it as a living. And unfortunately, they were right. Every single door that I knocked on was slammed in my face. But you knew they were wrong. I knew that I could write. But I had to think about why I was being rejected. What were my flaws? Regroup, rethink. You went over that wall. I built a ladder. So, what happened? Oh, uh, it all fell apart, and now I just troll around at carnivals looking for stuffed animals to complete my oh, collection. Oh, right, see, that's impossible. Can't be done. <laughs> no, now I have a great career. And it pays me enough that it's my only job, and it continues to grow. I am a sports writer and owner of Wayne Hoops HQ. Wait, Wayne, that's you? <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I, I read you like all the time. I always thought you were a guy. Oh, okay, because girls can't write about sports. No, the exact opposite. I always thought it was written by a dude named Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just messing with you. Okay. I get that all the time. Yeah, yeah, your piece about Ben Simmons' development as a passer, man, I read that like 50 times. Thank you. Yeah, I did feel like going out with you was kind of touchy territory and crossing a line, so I kind of wanted to see how this went before I told you about it. What I do is very important to me, so anything that could call that into question is a red line. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. Uh, I want to get you something before you leave. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, is, oh, company oh, on your no. walk home. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this giant elephant. No, you won't look creepy at all. Just tall guy, a stuffed animal. I know exactly where this is going. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Uh, rhymes with ash can. Yo, 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 uh, it's your boy AI coming at you from Fort Wayne, Indiana, uh, all by way of China and the Shanghai Bears. What's up to my people out there? What's up, Wei? What's up, Zhang? What's up, Coach? Hey, Corey Harris, I'm coming for you, man. <laughs> I'm not going to take it easy on you, but, man, we're going to have a good time, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be good. How was that? Not magic, but, uh, it works. Yeah, it works, works really well, actually. It's, um, it's real. 
It's unfiltered, you know? It's gonna give me something to cut into the gameplay so that people get to know the real you. Yeah, maybe, but I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to come off like I'm just trying too hard to promote me only. I want my game to speak first. Your game is gonna speak for you, man. I'm gonna speak for you. There's nothing wrong with having a couple more voices in the room. <laughs> Look, hey. You gotta keep your wrist loose, all right? You're shooting too flat. <laughs> what do you care how I shoot? You're the one with the game coming up. I know, I know, I know. Look, one more time, okay? Wrist loose, elbow in. Woo! That's right, baby. Feels good, right? It does. Hey, so, um, you think I screwed up with Nikki? What, on that date? Yeah. I think that she thinks I'm nervous around her now since she's a reporter. Are you nervous? Well, maybe, I guess, but, I mean, it's not like because she's a blogger. I mean, I, I think about her all the time, like, <laughs> she's in my head, man, like, it's actually kind of nice, you know, it feels right, it feels like something's happening. Wow, is the unflappable AI finally getting butterflies? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man, it's just, it's kind of like what Paul was saying about the city. Like, I've had girlfriends before, but I mean, not like this. Something about her just makes me feel like I'm home. What? We open on the two of you driving through Amish country. <laughs> You're going through one of those covered bridges. New idea. Yeah, you, you, you're wearing those hats and overalls. Yeah. You open it up on the two-lane blacktop. You see those rows of corn going by. She's looking at you, and you can see it in her eyes. You go, this is good, man. I can sell this. What are you doing okay. this weekend? All right, let's 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 reel it in, Zach. Let's reel it in. All right, let, let's let's sell the game, okay? Let's focus on the game. There's no line anymore, AI. It's all the same brand. You want to get to the next level? This is what you have let's to do. Let's keep it at the game for now, okay, man? That's, that's not enough. Well, it has to be. Okay? For now? Fine. Yeah, for now. <laughs>